Hey guys, I am Kate with Type Match, and today I am talking about one of my favorite types and one of my favorite topics. It's INTPs and how do they flirt. So I am fascinated by um, the topic of flirting. I think like I'm an ESTP and I learn a lot from observing and it's just so interesting to me like what works for people, what draws people in and I love um, finding out more about that dynamic like how people act when they're attracted to somebody and I'm very excited to talk about how INTPs flirt because I did a poll on Instagram um, asking each of the types how they flirt and the INTP answers were by far the most interesting, you could say. So um, let's get into it and let's find out the top eight ways that INTPs flirt. So number one way that INTPs flirt, maybe you guys can guess, is that they say that they don't at all. Like it's either I don't or badly, weirdly, awkwardly just not happening. Um, so for all of those INTPs out there who don't flirt, maybe this video can be helpful to you and you can learn from other people who report that they are INTPs and how they can flirt. Or maybe watch my one that I'm going to do about ESTPs because I really think that ESTPs are the best flirts. So number one, that they, they just don't. Number two, Fun facts. And I love this answer because it's so funny <laughs> to imagine that it's like, I'm imagining I see like a cute guy over there and I look at him like, mm, he's cute. I'm gonna go tell him that a blue whale's heart is the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Although honestly, I love fun facts so much. I love hearing them. I, I love telling people them, but it's never done like as an intention of a flirting. Um, but if somebody did that to me, I would think like, one, awesome opener. Like, and two, like I'm, I'm already like drawn in. Like that was funny that that's what you came to say to me. Um, and it was interesting. <laughs> you added value to my day. So, you know, kind of a funny way to flirt, but maybe effective. So try that INTPs. I bet you know a lot of fun facts. Uh, number three is compliments, which I would say if an INTP does compliment you, they must think very highly of you because I don't think INTPs um, give compliments likely. And they're kind of also awkward when receiving uh, compliments because they, they're like, oh, I don't like that kind of like praise. It's, it's weird. I don't know how to react. Um, so if an INTP does compliment you, they're, they're definitely interested. Number four, which I think is a huge one for INTPs, humor. Um, because INTPs that I've known are super playful, they are witty, they love banter, um, they love sarcasm, puns, um, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, like one person wrote insults, and it's like, okay, yeah, but like when INTPs do do insults it's, it's always like in a playful way of like yeah you're an idiot but i'm also an idiot so um i like you <laughs> um and people also wrote uh say weird shit until they laugh and yeah probably and like a five-year-old boy that bullies slash annoys the girl he has a crush on um so i guess yeah that sounds like a very intp-ish way to go about flirting because um, they're very they're very playful and fun number five it fits under the category of just conversation um i and i have three subtopics for, that i have down for conversation um testing their worldview which i don't know if i would call testing a person's worldview um flirting i think it's more like trying to see what kind of person they are and if you're interested in them and if you want to continue talking to them. Um, I guess if you mean testing their worldview as in like taking an interest in like what the other person thinks, then flirting maybe. Um, next one is arguing dumb topics, which I think 
kind of makes sense for like, you know, infusing a little bit of humor in there. And this last one for conversation, I really like it. They, the people just wrote like, listen to what the other person says. Like, I like that because it's like, see, I'm actually listening to you. Listening to you I'm flirting. Like, as opposed to just totally disregarding the other person, not listening at all. Like if you've listened, that, that's flirt achieved. Um, but you know, INTPs can, can be rather aloof and not pay attention to what the other person, what the other people in the room are doing. So I guess listening counts as flirting, um, which leads me to number six, paying attention to them, right? As opposed to just not paying attention to them. It's like, oh, I'm here, I'm talking to you, I'm paying attention to you. Like, obviously I like you. Um, and studying the person. Now, I think this is a big one for INTPs because they are all about you know, learning and understanding. And if they like you, they're going to want to study you. Number seven, looks from afar. Now, what they wrote here though, was not what, it's not probably what you're thinking in terms of looks from afar, where it's like a very coy, like interested, but like at the last minute, look away shyly, like, you know, cute flirty look. It's, um, we have here, Creepy stares from afar and investigates and stare. <laughs> oh, INTPs. <laughs> and number eight, um, I think this is also an extremely realistic way that I have seen INTPs flirt, and that is just online um, because INTPs are much more comfortable online and they'll send you memes and emojis. Um, to be a little bit playful and and flirty um, but then if you get them in real life you know they're going to have to develop that like real life comfort as well so if you've been flirting with an INCP online and then you get them in person you you may kind of wonder like oh where's that person that was like that I was talking to before um, and it's not that they've met up with you and they don't like you. It's just like they're not they're not comfortable yet with you in the outer net versus the internet. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in an INTP and you're wondering, do they like me back? Um, I mean, maybe these are some hints for you. Do they tell you fun facts? Uh, do they actually listen to what you say or talk to you at all? <laughs> Uh, do they stare at you? Do they send you memes and emoji? Are they playful with you? Or are they are they awkward when they're around you? Um, I guess these can all be hints that an INTP might like you. And if you want to find your own INTP or an, are an INTP um, looking to meet someone else, you can check out the Type Match app on iOS and Android and tightmatchapp.com for more information.